A we of Ado Ekiti and the Council of Traditional Rulers of Ekiti State have given their royal blessings for the 2023 presidential aspiration of Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. Now, this is in continuation of the consultation tour of the APC national leader towards the 2023 presidency. On now, welcome reports. And after this report, we'll bring you updates in business. <laughs> The national leader of the APC and 2023 presidential aspirant has been touring the palaces of first-class monarchs in the southwest. His train moved to Ikiti State after a successful consultation tour of traditional rulers in Ogun and Oshun states. Ashiwaju Bola Tinobu was received by the deputy governor of Ikiti State, Otumba Adebisi Egbeyemi, who led the presidential aspirant to the Council of Traditional Rulers, led by the Onishan of Ishan Ikiti, or by Gabriel Adejunwo. <laughs> Ashiwaju Tinobu spoke fervently about his mission to make Nigeria great again through the introduction of innovative ideas that will make the country an enviable nation. We are here to answer the call of our forefathers that we should build our children, educate them, lead them forward in the right direction. So that we will live in Nigeria, that will be united, prosperous, and happily developed. He emphasized the significance of education and constant electricity as catalyst for economic growth. You have come, you have had to all that you want to be. I will pray that God Almighty will fulfill His purpose for your life, and His will shall be done in your life. The consultation train then moved to the palace of the Ewi of Adoikiti, Oba Adeyemi Adejube, where hundreds of supporters were waiting. They hailed the presidential aspirant as he makes his way into the palace of the traditional ruler. He made his mission clear. the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The monarch endorsed Ashiwaju Tinubu and gave him royal blessings. Like other places visited, the people of Ikiti State came out in their large number to show solidarity for Ashiwaju Bola Tenobu. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Adwe Ikiti.